technology is moving ahead far quicker than insurance companies are evolving. The industry has changed from uh, doing a lot of nuts and bolts work uh, in terms of maths to us actually analyzing the data and really being able to interpret what that means from an insurance company's perspective. You can magnify so much information from data across the world, all the different sources of data. So it's about using that data in a scientific way for various purposes. We've all seen the, the sort of Facebooks and Cambridge Analyticas and issues that that brings up. But I think that there really is a high focus on professionalism from the actuarial society. It's really up to the, the actuaries to maintain that code of ethics and professionalism. It seems to me that computers will automate more and more. Artificial intelligence, neural networks, cognitive reasoning will actually do a lot of the work that, which is currently done by actuaries. So in the fullness of time it's going to be much, much more than maths. But I'm sure that emotional intelligence, intuition, and the sort of things that people don't necessarily associate with mathematics will be just as important. So you get that combination, that diversity will enrich what our profession can do. I think we need to make sure that we are certainly more diverse as a profession, uh, both in terms of, of skills and, and talents, but I think also in terms of backgrounds. Having said that, I think there's also an element of upskilling existing members and broadening the syllabus such that um, it, it, it sort of stays with the times, if you will. We don't define what actuarial science is very well. You ask 100 actuaries, you'll get 200 answers. Um, and we need to do more thinking about what's that real unique added value. The kind of traditional actuarial job is potentially going to be unrecognisable in some sense in, say, 20 years' time. The really cool thing is it's up to the, the new actuaries to really shape and drive that.